Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're looking at how to respawn with a HTML file in Rocket in Rust. And there are essentially two different ways of doing this. And one of the ways is if you don't want to modify the file. And the other one is if you do want to modify the file and use the HTML file as more of a template. All right, so let's get straight into the code. So this is the boilerplate that we created in episode 12 and I'm just going to change this up a little bit and what we want to do is we want to change this index function right here to instead of returning a static string we want it to return a file and to return a file we need to use the file library in the standard file like so. And then the file right here, you want to open by writing file open and then your directory and then your file like so. And then you want it to expect <coughs> and we're going to expect file not found like so. And then you want to save that and compile it. All right, so this is going to recompile everything. So this might take a moment or two. All right, so there we go. So now it's compiled and hopefully you guys will find the error already. So, but let's try opening our endpoint. All right, so that crashes. And you can see here in Rocket that it says no such file or directory so let's create that file now all right so i'm going to in visual studio code in the source directory i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it index.html and in this file i'm just going to paste some boilerplate code like so all right so save that and try recompiling and rerunning and this time it should say hello YouTube like so. All right, so that's the first way to return a HTML file in Rocket. And I'm going to show you the dynamic way instead. And it's a little bit more complicated and we want to start off in our cargo.toml file. And in here we want to add a couple of new dependencies. So starting off with Surdy because we want to, we need to serialize our dynamic data. So Surdy is going to be version 1.0.37 and also Surdy derive and that's going to be the same. So 1.0.37 and then we also want the dependencies for rocket contrib and in here we don't really care about the version. So we're just going to make a star like so and then default features is going to be equal to false and then the features are going to be equal to the terra templates all right and now you can close your cargo.toml file and you can return to your main.rust file and in your main.rust file you want to start off by add, adding a couple of external crates so extern create rocket contrib and then you also want the extern create for survey and then you want to use the macros from survey derive so macro use extern create survey derive all right now you want to use a you can remove this line right here and replace it with rocket contrib and then a template and in here you can remove this file and replace it with template like so and you can remove this file completely and you want to the you want to make a structure so first of all you want that to be want survey to be able to serialize that one so derive seri serialize let's see i think that's correct 
and then the structure is going to be index context and that's going to have a header of type string and then in here we want to let context is equal to index context and the header is going to be just hello to string all right and then we don't forget the semicolon at the end and then we want to render that so template render and index and we want the context like so all right and the other thing that we have to add is in the main function we need to dot attach template fairing fairing like so and then that should be it and let's see expected oh like so that looks better and then i think of course we need to create a new directory so we're going to create a directory called templates like so and then in the templates file sorry in the templates directory we want to create a new file called index.html.terra and in this file i'm just going to paste some boilerplate code like so and as you can see you if you want to use your variables you use two curly braces to open and then two curly braces to close all right so you can close that file and let's try running our code cargo run all right so the error in here is that it's not in the rocket and then in the contrib it's actually rocket underscore contrib so let's try running that again and this time it runs just fine all right so refresh the page and now you can see this says hello and if you want to change that you say hello youtube and save and recompile and this time it should say hello youtube all right so that's it for this video so good luck and happy coding